welcome to today's podcast radio show. Today we are talking about Lori Lawlin or Aunt Becky from Full House about the huge college scandal and all of the colleges involved in this and exactly what's going on, other people's thoughts, maybe what's going to happen. So stay tuned to find out. That's right, guys. Coming straight from the University of Kentucky, this is College Corner. This is Mo. So today we are discussing the Louis Lawlin scandal, or Aunt Becky from Full House. So basically, the situation is that Lori Lawlin's daughter, she has two daughters, one named is Olivia, who is the younger one, and her uh, her other daughter went to USC, but her younger daughter, Olivia, wanted to go to USC, and USC, or University of Southern California, is a very hard school to get into. They have a, like, 10% acceptance rate, maybe lower, somewhere around there. It is an Ivy League school, and she wanted her daughter to have the best education, which every parent would want, and some of these parents, like Lori Lowland, went to extreme measures to get their students in. Now what happened is, they said Olivia was on the rowing team, which she is not, and they bribed the school money for her to get in. And she was currently going to the school. She was accepted along with her sister, who had been admitted previously. People started asking questions, and Olivia is also a YouTuber, and she posted a video and people are starting to find out the truth. Now, supposedly, Lori and her husband bribed the school with $500,000 and said that her daughter, Olivia, was on the rowing team when she was not. And they did this, and they said that she had a scholarship on the rowing team, and they acted like she was already on the rowing team so that she would get in. I have not seen proof of this, but someone said that they even photoshopped her face onto a rower's body to say, like, look, here she is rowing. So that's what it is, and some people are upset about it because, you know, she even, she basically took a scholarship from someone else because someone else who had been working hard had wanted to get in this school and someone who was a rower who wanted this scholarship and she was taken from it or he they were taken from this position and Olivia isn't even a rower so that's what's going on and it's also just a lot of rumors going on and we're going to talk about it. There is a YouTuber named Emma Modden and she applied to USC and she got rejected a couple years ago. And she is upset about this because someone was denied their scholarship because of this. She says like, it bothers her that they bribed the school, but it bothers her even more that she took someone's spot on the rowing team who had been working really hard. And Olivia has a reputation of partying, and she just wanted to go to this school to party, she said on her YouTube, and as a fact, she said she wanted to go experience college life and party, and maybe she should have gone to UCLA or something else or somewhere else where she could party and not take someone's competitive scholarship from them. Another YouTuber named Harlow, and she actually went to high school with Olivia Jade, Lori Lawlin's daughter. And she says the high school that they went to was really difficult and hard. And, you know, it's kind of for, it was very expensive, like around $30,000 a year for a high school. And most parents pay this so that their children can have a good education. But she said Olivia didn't really care about her work. So she was confused whenever she was admitted and accepted into USC 
because of that. What do I think? I think this is unfair. I agree with Emma, the YouTuber who was rejected, that someone was denied their scholarship who worked very hard their whole life to get into this school and be on the rowing team to have a scholarship and they were denied for someone who wasn't even on the team. That's just not fair. Now, what should happen to Lori Lawlin for this or Aunt Becky? Some people say that Olivia did not know her parents did this, but I find that hard to believe since she didn't work very hard in high school. And she knew she probably wouldn't get in USC by herself. So I think she knew about this. Now Lori was in jail for about a day, but she got out on a $1 million bail. So what do you guys think should happen? Should she go to jail? She is a good person, but this is not something good that she has done. And it costed someone their life, like their college education. And a couple of days ago, there's an article in People that an outraged mom is suing them for $500 billion because her son was rejected from USC and she believes that he should have got in and maybe if this wouldn't happen, that he could have got in. And Olivia Jada is not the only person this has happened to. There are other schools involved and other students at USC that has happened to. So it's not just one spot. It could be tens or thousands. We don't know. Now, Olivia was expelled from the school. And I believe that, I don't know if the dean knew, but somebody in the school system knew because they were bribed. I believe they only expelled her because of the public knew about this and they thought, oh, USC needs to expel her because all of this is out now. And also, Olivia's older sister had graduated and they are considering taking her degree away because the same thing happened with her. They said she was on the rowing team also. So what do you guys think? Do you think that their mom will actually sue for $500 billion, put Lori in jail with her husband? What do you think will happen to Olivia? I think Olivia will continue her YouTube career in a couple weeks. She's probably going to take a break because of all of this, this situation. But I do not want to see Lori in jail, however, this is not something good that she has done. This was not a good choice. Let me know in the comments down below what you think should happen or your predictions. Thank you for joining me on College Quarter and I will see you next week.